Hey guys, um, I'm just going to do a quick video. Um, I know these cameras is not the best quality it could be um, because literally I'm using a very bad um, camera for this because also there's some damage to the lens in this camera. It's got a black dot. If I hover over that, you can see some dirt. I can't get it off, so I've given up. It's an old camera, so. Never mind. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to do a quick video on um, the iPod Touch, a 5th gen and the 4th gen comparison to see which one you'd want to buy because I know they still do the 4th gen. Um, I think they only do the 16 gig model. But this one they still do, the they do 32 and 64. Okay, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do is wait until this one is up to date because if I show you on this iPod, not there, not there, uh, software update when it comes up, it's iOS 6.1.3. This one's only 6.1.2, so I'm waiting for it to update, so it's going to take a bit of time as they normally do, so we'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so it's quickly turning on. I thought I'd show you around these devices, okay? Um, so let's firstly go for the iPod Touch 4th gen so here it is, you can get it in white as well um, so you've got your back which gets very scratched which as you can tell this one is this is the 8 gig model which they don't do anymore so you've got your volume rockers on the side sleep lock button headphone jack and of course 30 pin connect dot connector and the speaker because Whereas this device has got a bigger screen, it's a 4.0 inch screen, um, so it is slightly bigger, and people are not, you know, are thinking, ah, I don't like this, but actually, I quite like it, it's quite unique, and it's very nice. You can also tell that the screen quality is a lot better on this device, okay, so we'll get into that when um, we get into the comparison. On the side, of course, you've got your volume rockers, which are nice because it's the same colour. And it's kind of square, this one, which I prefer the square finish. Um, and your unlock, lock, sleep button, your turn off button. Of course, you've got your 5 megapixel eyesight camera and your flash, LED flash. Of course, they've brought back the the bar on the top which is for your Wi-Fi signal because obviously they thought that they had a bit of trouble with the um, the the uh, fourth gen because it hasn't got one this has only got like a 3 megapixel camera it does run in 720p HD video but it's not good enough is it really um, this one's got the A5 chip in this is only the A4 which you can actually tell a big difference between the two and of course they've got this new loop feature which as soon as I've got this, I've got this in the US um, my friend decided to use it and then loses the loop because it came off which I wasn't very impressed about um, so yeah, around the edge is diamond cut which makes it all shiny and you'll probably tell there's some damage to the mine because someone decides to drop it and knock it out of my hand and it dented it which is very easy to do on these I've noticed the metal is a little bit softer but I prefer the new backs you can get different colours uh, you can get black and then you can get silver with a white front uh, I think you can get a red one uh, yellow I think uh, and I think there's another colour but yeah these they're a really nice finish um, but I do prefer the bigger screens because um, I don't know the contents seems a lot clearer and crisper. So we'll wait until this finished and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I just thought I'd try a bit of time lapse there um, to speed it up. Okay, oh wow, a lot of emails. Okay, so 
what we're going to do now is we're going to put them side by side. Probably zoom in a bit because it is a bit far out. Well, not that. So we'll put them side by side. Right, so side by side now. Um, what we're going to do instantly is the first thing you ever do. close all the apps okay now just by looking at the fluidness see look it instantly freeze this it's so fluid and it's got more apps on this don't matter how fast you do it you know just you could just see it it doesn't keep up that well um, with the e iPod Touch 4th generation. Of course, to this one you've got your Siri. Hello, Siri. Hi. I have the American one on this, um, whereas on my iPad, I have the UK one. Um, okay, guys, um, just had to refilm something here because we decided to do it in black and white. Okay, so what we're going to do is clear out the browsing data. So when we do a browser test it is not as um, it's not as you know it's a fair test. Try to make it as fair as possible but it's very difficult. Um, so basically we're gonna go to the browsers now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're instantly going to go to Apple. Apple loaded on the iPod Touch 5th, and it's still, there we go, it's loaded on the 4th gen. If I zoom in, just by looking at the quality of the red iPod on this one, I quite this one. You can see this one's a bit more, it's got a bit more colour to it, um, which we'll find on these devices. Okay, so we're going to now go to. Let's go to Yahoo. Oh, let's start that again. It's a bit unfair. Right, that was fast now I put touch this gen and there's the fourth gen. Now you may not think that's a fair test, so what I'm gonna do is to prove to you that this is you know, you know you've got your varied sponsors on here. Let me zoom back out for about that. Um we're gonna load a video. We could go to Facebook dot com okay common ready go done on the iPod but clearly the iPod Touch 5th generation has a better um, Wi-Fi in built-in. Um, you know, you still got your both front-facing cameras, so it's just brilliant quality. Now what I'm going to do is do some footage from both the cameras. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find... I'm going to have to find someone's channel. We'll do... Boyfriend go versus Oh you idiot. First one, be a versus GF. Okay. So I'll go straight to their channel on here. We'll go to videos. That one hasn't been loaded for a while.
Oh, that's why. Click here. Okay. No. Go to activity. So here's both of them. You can see on this one's got crisper. So we're going to go to the video now. We're going to the video now. That didn't really work. Double tap it. Okay, so we're going to load the YouTube app. Now I've already got a video load up on this channel here. Okay, channels, let's go click exactly to this page on this iPod. Case we're loaded, we're going to click the picture. That didn't truly really work. I tapped it at the same time. And it hasn't recognised it. There we go. Tapped at the same time. Okay. Full screen. This video isn't even loaded yet. It is loaded. It's not working. Let's try again. Maybe let's try with a different video. Let's go. Down. That video. Don't touch it. We go. Of course, the upper touch fifth one. If you see there, the quality is a lot better on there. If you to see that, I can see. Um, so yeah, that's a quick video test on that. This is the iPod Touch fifth generation quality of camera. Just scroll through here, and just testing the sound quality as well. Just doing some footage on my iPad. This is the iPod Touch fourth generation test. Right, so I've just done a quick video and I've done, taken a picture about the window um, and you'll see how different the quality is um, between these cameras because yes, the iPod Touch does have an okay camera but it isn't as good because you can tell by the grainy pictures. This is a lot clearer, still get some grain but it is a lot clearer. But you can decide, you know. On both these devices, they are very nice to use. You know, you get lots of storage in it. 32 gig or 64 gig when my music loads. You know, I've got thousands of songs on here and albums. You know, so... But it's your choice whether you want to spend an extra bit of money on one of these or not. You know. And... Apps, some apps do look different, or maybe a different layout. You can fit more on the home screen. You know, so you know it's it's, it's just your decision, really. And as you can see, I did that last, and it is, you know, it is still loading. Okay, and yeah, things do look diff, kind of different on on here and it is see look you can tell it's a lot slower and I don't know if we've got an app but you you can you can see visually that this has got more RAM in it the upper touch 5 has got more RAM than the 
iPod Touch 4th Gen. You know, so the, this based around the iPhone 4, I'd say this is the like the 5. You know, okay, the 5 has got an A5. I think it's an A5 or an A6. No, it's, I think an A6. I think I know the iPod Pad has got the A6X. Um, but yeah, just check both them out. They're both good. It depends what what you want it for. If you want it for doing more than just music, then maybe go for the iPod Touch 5. If you just want it for simple music and nothing really much else, then go for the iPod Touch 4th Gen. Okay, so that was just a quick comparison on both these devices. Um, I think I'll also include some other footage in here of actually um, going through some basic video tasks like that going onto YouTube and things like that. Thanks guys for watching, more videos coming up soon.